Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Planescape Torment. All right, let's uh, talk to uh, Roberta again. You see Roberta. She smiles at your approach. Good day to you, Cutter. How may I serve you? Do you still want your husband dealt with? She smiles at you. Yes, I certainly do. Why do you ask? I know a harlot named Kiri who needs money. Maybe she could get close enough to do the deed. She stares at you for a moment. I see. She glances about, then leans in to whisper to you. Would you be willing to approach her about and offer her employment? I'll pay you 500 coin apiece upon completion of the deed. Eh, it's not a lot of jink. She frowns. Hmm, that may be the case, but it is what I am willing to pay. The two of you can be 500 coins richer or not. The choice is your yours. I can use the jink. I'll talk to Kiri. Updated Kira. my journal. She smiles. Excellent. If she agrees, have it do the deed at her convenience, but not to dawdle. But do not dawdle. Upon completion, you may contact me, and I will see to your payment. All right, must be going now. Do -do 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 -do. You know, just setting up a murder. That's uh, it's totally lawful good. Um, I, I mean, he, he's he's probably incredibly evil, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Hello. You're back. He swallows his drink. Boss sent you. Good. Here's the deal. Slavers have kidnapped his daughter. It's your job to get them back. Get the them back? I'll tell you where you can find them. You go kill them and report back to me. I'll help you find the deva and hells. Maybe and teach you weapons. Agreed? I have a few questions about this first. A few questions? No. There are only two possible answers. Are you for slavery or against it? I'm against it. Then you'll help, right? Yes or no? I'll help. Last I heard, the slavers were in the east of Inner Cursed. They've got the nod from the city guard. Find them, make sure boss's daughter is alright, and kill them. When you're done, come back here and I'll tell you the first part of the key. You need to find the Deva. Alright, uh, answer some questions about this for me. Updated my journal. What? Um, what's your stake in the slavery thing, anyway? I found out that the Harmonium, a group I'd believed in from the start, was buying people, kidnapping them, taking them against their will, and ruining their lives. It was sucking the life out of people for daring to be different, and I couldn't take it anymore. The slavers you'll be fighting are old comrades of mine. He spits on the floor. Burks, liars, you can't trust anyone anymore. So, for those uh, wondering, the Harmonium is a supremely lawful organization. They include uh, lawful good, lawful neutral, and lawful evil people. So, you can have... You know, like in the upper echelons, you can have uh, lawful good paladins working with uh, lawful evil uh, non-paladin people. Um, who are you? I'm Marquez, a former, formerly a measure three of the Harmonium. Formerly, I said, because I quit not so long ago. Uh, why? Okay, that's more questions for you. That's the same thing. Uh, what are you doing here? Drinking. What does it look like? I'm waiting for someone to come along and right the wrongs I've made. You seem like a good fellow for the job. Uh, what wrongs? Okay, that's gonna be the exact same thing. What can you tell me about the key? Five-part key, verbal. Held in our heads. He smiles toothily at you. You won't get it out of me by torture, and I suspect you won't find the others easy either. We've locked away a secret, and you'll need all five parts to find out what it is. Alright, thanks, very well. Alrighty. I wonder what would, ha what would have happened if I'd, uh, uh, killed them first. Alright, so I don't want to try to use an area of effect spell. Uh, that seemed like a bad idea. I might be able to Done. do something, though. Looks like it's getting towards evening, which is unfortunate. All right, let's quick save. Done. Uh, let's first see if I can talk to her. Help me, please kill them before they enslave me. I'll do what I can. What are you doing here? Why, well, my men and I are gathering recruits to teach them about right and wrong. As you can see, they're not always willing. 
but we'll make them see the light eventually, he eyes you. You'll make a good recruit, I imagine. I'm not interested. That's too bad, he gestures at his men. Ignore the girl, take him. All right, first of all, do, do, let's hope that this does not hit her. Nope, that hit her. Oops. 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 All right. Uh, what's this one? Cursed is a prison town filled with betrayers and words and deeds. We must take care and watch each other. Watch each other for uh, betrayal? Is that what you're talking about? No, nah, I don't think that's what you're talking about. All right. Let's go talk to you again. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm not interested. I'm gone. All right, let's get them to move away. Oh. Oh, shoot. Well, that, uh, that did not go the way that I wanted. All right. All right, so let's, uh, let's cast some preparatory spells first. Yes. In the mon's name. Do I have any spells that I could, I should cast? Uh, I don't think Infernal Shield's gonna do much good. Alright, so I think that this is going to be a situation where, uh, we want to Done. be close. Um, I don't think that my area of effect spells are going to help the situation much. Wait, did they get affected too? Hmm. What are you doing here? Not interested. Fight. I probably should have done this Earth Month's focus. Oh well. That cannot be disguised. What's up? In my face, lend me strength. What else can we do? Done. Okay, one is down at least. Lend me strength. Okay, 
You are attacking. I cannot tell if you're attacking. I cannot tell if you're attacking. Uh, what else do we have? I don't think ball lightning is area of effect. Nope, good. The is true. See that? A lot of experience uh, out of these guys, actually. Okay. Everyone go attack this one. Ow! 24 damage. Jeez. Alright, let's take the, uh... Items. Battle axe of quality. Yeah. Take those. Okay. Uh, did we? Yes, we did. Good. All right. Let's go talk to you. The young woman, hair mussed up, clothes disheveled, is trying to smile at you through choking sobs. Thank you. Thank you so. My name is Jasselia. Listen, I must go now, stranger, but again, thank you. Uh, no problem. Look at that run. That is that is a a silly run. Alright, well, um did not actually get a whole lot of goodies out of them, but uh got a bit of experience. So there's that. All right, well, we've uh, taken care of all those foes. Oh, I should have gone and talked to the, uh, uh, talk to Kiri. Oh, well. I will do so later. All right, Marquez. Marquez looks up from the table as you approach. You hear about Barsa's daughter, Jocelyn? She's free. She should be back here shortly. 65,000 experience points. Wow. He claps you on the shoulder. Good work. You want the first part of the key that will get you under cursed? Here it is. Such place... Such place eternal justice had prepared for those rebellious. Go talk to Kitla over there. She's got the second part of the key. Or I can teach you weapons. Uh, teach me that. Updated then. my journal. You're not one who just dallies with weapons. I can see that by your scars. Still, you don't seem like you live by the fighting arts right now. You want to give up what you are now? Uh, no. And why are you even bothering me? Go on. I've got some important drinking to do. Fine, farewell. All right. All right, let's, uh, let's do a How little bit of help? healing real fast. She always I didn't actually need to. I could have just rested. You're back, hmm? It turns out that I have a use for you after all. You help me, and we all wind up happy. What is it I have to do? Updated my journal. There are two men here named Crumple Punch and Kester. Crumple Punch is the smith, Kester the distiller. They both owe me a lot of money. One of them owes the other as well, though, and so neither of them is paying me. They're arguing about an inheritance. Get me the legacies they're holding on to. I can bargain with them very effectively then. Failing that, get them to solve their problems f with each other. Or kill them. And I'll give you the second part of the key. Will do. Farewell. All right. Uh, let us I go... Don't, why, are you, why are you selected? All right. Let's go ahead and get some rest. Uh, I need a place to stay. You don't have anything that I want. We'll just do peasant this time. It's 
It's not like Baldur's Gate where uh, I'm rolling in cash and it's just like, you know, resting in the royal chambers just because I can. Alright, uh, let's go see what we All can right. do about uh, taking care of the uh, uh, thing for Roberta first. Then we'll try to take care of this, uh, their dispute peaceably before, you know, without resorting to violence or theft. I'm gone. Not that I have a problem with the theft part, but it, it seems like getting them to resolve their issues first would probably be a better, uh, outcome. Hello? You see the harlot, Kiri. She is watching her surroundings carefully. When she sees you, she smiles at your approach. Hello again, Cutter. What can I do for you? I've talked to Roberta. She wants Carl dead, and she wants you to handle it. Updated my journal. She smiles at you. You can tell Roberta that when she... that she just bought Carl an entry in the dead book. I'll go take care of it now. Very well. Farewell. Wow, she is running to commit murder. Look at her go! And she just vanishes. Alright, let's go uh, talk to uh, Roberta. Get our cash. Now don't I'm you gone. trust anyone here? You got me. Oh, I think we can trust Roberta to, you know, want to murder her husband. Yes, the job you hired me to do has been completed. You see, Roberta, she looks quite happy for once. She glances about, examining her surroundings carefully. Hello, I can only assume that you've come for your money. She glances about again before answering. Very well, here is the coin I promised you. A momentary look of concern crosses her face. Uh, your friend did a thorough job on Carl. My compliments to the both of you. She hands you a heavy purse. Here is your share. I've paid Kiri already. Thank you, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. I gained 2,000 experience points for uh, setting up a murder. She gives you a slight bow. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, no, I don't think so. Farewell. Still lawful good! <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. A <laughs> little bit ridiculous. Uh, let's see. Who are you? I'm Crumple Punch Malako, the townsmith. You want something? I've heard there's some trouble between you and your brother. I'd like to help. Oh, you have, have you? Is my business with my book learned brother the whole town's gossip then? Is my younger brother spreading stories against me? It might be slandered just because I ain't educated. The planes be against me, he shakes his fist at the sky. I'm actually interested in clearing the matter up. He looks at you shrewdly. Uh, here's the story, then. Our father was a balmy old bastard, but a wealthy one. He left us his smithy and his distillery when he died. But now my brother's trying to cut me out of the distillery, which always made more coin, and I'm trying to get it back. I got a legacy to prove it, but I ain't so smart with this stuff, and I don't trust anyone in this town to help me. You help me, I'll give you some jink, and I'll live by your decision. All right, I'll need your legacy to look it over. Updated my journal. Okay, and I did. Well, all right. I guess you got to study up, study it up, and make sure it's on the up and up. He passes you a crumpled wad of paper. Thanks. I'll let you know what happens. All right. Let's go talk to his brother. See what we can uh, learn from him. I mean, it seems like a good solution would be to just have the uh, one brother do the smithy and the other brother do the distillery. But if one All of right. them does make more money, then I can understand how that might not be the best solution. Welcome back to Malaco Brothers. What can I do for you today? Um, Your brother sent me. He says he wants a negotiation about the inheritance between you and your father. Oh, he did, did he? Well, I'll make sure you're... Reward is more handsome if you decide my way. Tell you what, 
You get his legacy from him, study it, and convince him that you'll arbitrate it. You'll get a nice reward, too. How's that sound? I'll need your hot copy of the legacy to look over. He looks at you suspiciously, then relents. And if it'll get it done faster and better for me, then all right. Here, he passes it over you, to you. Uh, great, farewell. That was a little bit easy. Alright, so I think we read that one. Let's take a look at this one. This legacy is inscribed on a carefully folded piece of well-tended old vellum. It belongs to Kester the Distiller, and from what you can decipher, it appears that his father was both uneducated and sloppy in his handwriting. The little you can make out appears to suggest that, that the two brothers devote themselves to increasing their wealth by building the businesses. And here the ink smudges into unreadability. The rest of the document does not provide detail as to how the, di the division is to be accomplished. Hmm. Uh, let's quick save. Let's talk to him again. Uh, I've got your brother to agree to a binding negotiation. Will you? Well, I... Damn, all right. Look over our legacies and tell one of us how you've decided. I'll be back. Farewell. All right. I've decided in favor of you. After reading the legacy, it's clear to me that you should get the entire inheritance. I've decided that your brother should get all the money. It's clear that he's in the right. The two of you should split the money down the middle. It's clear that your father wanted it this way. Neither of you deserves the money. I'll pass your legacies off to someone who will use the money properly. Farewell. Not yet. Farewell. Alright, let's see what the uh, other one says. I probably have the same options. Who names their kid Crumple Punch anyway? I mean, seriously, what the hell? I've decided in favor of your brother. After reading the legacies, it's clear to me that he should get the entire inheritance. I've decided that you should get the dis that you should own the distillery and get your father's money. It's clear that you're in the right. The two of you should split the money from the two businesses down the middle. It's clear that your father wanted it this way. Yeah. I... I like that option. Lost item, lost item. 150,000 experience points. You mean split the proceeds from both businesses, aye? In that case, I'm in favor of it. You done me a good turn, friend. You ever need quality metal work done, you... You come here. Updated I will. Fair my well. journal. Notched dagger, and it's plus two. Alright, let's just sell these for now. I can't sell him the axe of the jester. Uh, these aren't very good. Let's just get rid of them. Uh, let's see what the other brother has to say about me deciding in uh, his brother's favor. I could have gotten more money the other way, but uh, this seemed the proper solution. Uh, Nordum's closing in on, uh, level 9. That's about it. It is taking an awful long time to get up more levels. Despite the game, like, practically throwing experience points at us. Where's, where's, there it is. Now, there are a couple other buildings here that we have not explored, so we'll go take a look at those as well. Uh, hello! Get out of my store before I call the guards. Now. Alright, I'm leaving. Jeez. Rude. Well, I guess I'm not buying any of his charms. 
Man, he's a he's a real jerk. I'm gone. I should have murdered him. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick save and head in here. This is gonna be another small dwelling. It is. There are no containers. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see. There's this. That l this looks like a rather important building. No, this is also a small dwelling. Who knew? Done. Who knew? Uh, must be the guard barracks. Odd that it's called a small dwelling and lots of uh, containers that you can't interact with. All right, so we can't do that. There's this building here, and then there's this one. I'm kind of guessing that this is going to be the uh, you know where the head of the town is. Ooh. Now that is a small dwelling. With lots of goodies. Can I? Why not? Did it save? Yeah, okay, there we go. Now let's double check. Oh come on. <sighs> Terrible. Terrible. Done. No items for me. So disappointed. So disappointed. Actually, you know what? Let's go uh, talk to these guys. See if, uh... I, I mean, I'd like some more money. Greetings! We're a bit on the nervous side, aren't we? He jumps at the sound of your voice and quickly turns to face you. His face is flushed and his breath comes quickly. You get the impression that he doesn't know what to say to you. Your comment seems to have taken him by surprise. My, uh, my mind was elsewhere, Cutter. What do you want? Uh, just some questions answered, all right. One question, then you're out of here. I ain't got, got the time or the desire. Uh, if you needed some questions answered reliably... Who would you go to? He laughs and smiles at you. That's a good question. If you're sm if you're a smart cutter, after all, uh, you're a smart cutter, after all. He pauses to think and then looks at you carefully. If I were you, I'd talk to Shah. She walks the streets around here and shouldn't be too hard to find. If you're nice to her, she'll help you. I gave you an answer. Now get. Just wanted to talk to these guys and make them attack me. Is that so wrong? All right, let's uh, head in here and see what uh, what we've got going on. It's a warehouse. Uh, warehouses tend to have stuff, so... Hmm? Right. Let's pick the lock. Ooh. Is that going to piss people off? It is not pissing people off. Sweet. Glad there are no Flaming Fist mercenaries. Chalk? Chalk might come in handy. I don't know why, but... You see a short man, his eyes smoldering with repressed resentment. He's barking out orders to his workers and impatiently turns to you. What do you want? Uh, who are you? I'm Devore. This is my warehouse. These are my employees. This is my time that you're wasting. Alright, I had a few more questions. What? What is this place? He sighs with exasperation. It's a warehouse. We store things. Weapons, gold, alcohol, fabric, food. Just about anything a body needs. You have heard of warehouses, right? Sure. And a few other questions. Uh, what can you tell me of Cursed? Uh, it's a town where people try to make a living. We're all getting by doing what we can. Sometimes we're interrupted by adventurer types who seem to think that all we do all day is wait around for them to ask questions. But that is what you do. Alright, I had a few more questions. Ah, uh, forget it! Farewell. 
Okay, so nothing else. Alright, screw you. Alright, All right, so that was apparently not the uh, uh, place where the person in charge of town I'm gone. is, and we've not found this char that he spoke of. So now I am curious. I hate the triches. They they annoy me. They they keep making me think that there is someone to talk to because their names are short. All right, guys. Let me know if you see Shar wandering Don't around. Don't you trust anyone here? You got me. You're here, so should I not trust you? I do not see a char. Let's talk to one of these triches, see what they do. Nope, can't. Alright, well, uh, we have resolved the uh, issue with the brothers. So, let's head back to the tavern and we will talk to, uh, what's her name, in the next episode. I'm just going to do another quick circuit of the other part of town. And see if there was a Done. char that I missed. He does not look like it. Uh, Roberta? You want to say anything to me? Anything else? No, that's it. So long. Alright. Nope. Apparently not. I kind of figure that if I had uh, given the uh, legacies to uh, what's-her-name, I'd have lost out on shopping with both of those uh, merchants. But Oh well. Um, when we return, uh, we'll head into the uh, tavern and... Um See about the next leg of this quest. See you next time, everyone.